Now, if you have to do the step by step procedure of bevel gear design, means you have to design the bevel gear or you have to calculate the module, then you should follow this step by step procedure. I have included the information that which formula is there on which page number of the Bhandari design data book. First step is on page number 17.3 of Bhandari design data book. You have from the gear ratio G or I, the formula is NP upon NG, ZG upon ZP is equal to DG upon DP where NP and NG are the speed of pinion and gear, ZG and ZP are number of teeth on pinion and gear and DG and DP is pitch circle diameter of gear and pinion. But you also have to calculate the virtual number of teeth, Z dash G, ZG upon cos gamma G, where your gamma G is your pitch angle. So tan gamma G is ZG upon ZP, so that is the pitch angle of the gears. Same way, tan gamma p is zp upon zg, that is your pitch angle for pinion. Remember, your shaft angle theta is total of gamma p plus gamma g and it is going to be 90 degree because the bevel gears, the angle between the two shafts is going to be 90 degree. This is there on 19.1 of Bhandari design data book. Next you have to calculate DP is MZP and DG is MZG. Pitch circle diameter is module into number of teeth. Next you have to assume your face width. You have to assume the face width as from the pitch cone distance. So first you have to calculate your pitch cone distance which is DP by 2 whole square plus DG by 2 whole square. Then you have to assume your face width either 10 module or A0 by 3. Whichever is smaller that you are going to take your face width. This is there on page number 19.3 of Bhandari design data book. Next step you have to calculate your bending strength which is SUT by 3. Formula is there on page number 19.3 of Bhandari design data book. Fourth step is to calculate the Lewis form factor. You have to do it on basis of Z dash which is your virtual number of teeth. For 20 degree pressure angle, use uh, Y dash P 0.484 minus 2.87 Z dash P and Y dash G 0.484 minus 2.87 Z dash G. Remember Z dash P and Z dash G values are Z P upon cos gamma P and Z dash G is Z G upon cos gamma G. Gamma P and gamma G are your pitch angles. Fifth step. As always, you have to decide whether the pinion is weaker or gear. If the material is same, pinion will be weaker in design. But if the material is different, then you have to do the multi multiplication of your bending stress into Lewis form factor. Sigma BP into Y dash P and Sigma BG into Y dash G and compare which one is lesser. Suppose if the pinion value Sigma BP into Y dash P is lesser, then the pinion will be weaker in design or else the gear will be weaker in design. Beam strength MB sigma B Y into 1 minus B upon A0 where A0 is your uh, pitch cone distance, B is your face width, Y is your Lewis form factor, sigma B is your bending strength, B is your face width and M is your mod. Wear strength 0.75 B Q D P K upon cos gamma where your gamma is your pitch cone angle. So if you are using uh, pinion and weaker in design, then it is going to be gamma p. If your gear is weaker in design, it, then it is going to be gamma g. Q dash over here, you have to remember it, you have to take as 2 z dash g upon z dash g plus z dash p. Where your z dash g and z dash p are your virtual coefficient of teeth, your virtual number of teeth. Load stress factor on basis of the material you should select the proper value. For example, if it is a steel pinion and steel gear, you have to take it as 0.16 bhn upon 100 square or else according to material you should select. Eighth step is to calculate the tangential load. Now, first you should calculate your pitch line velocity, but sometimes you should first calculate the mean radius of pinion. Right, which is RMP is DP by 2 minus B sin gamma P upon 2. Same way it is for RMG. And then you should put down this value as 2 pi RMP NP upon 60 into 10 raised to 3. Or directly you can use the formula pi DP NP upon 60,000. You know the formula for tangential load, it is power upon velocity. 
load distribution factor service factor you should assume one if it is not given but your birth factor you should see what hint they have given and according to that you have to use it if they have given nothing you should assume for straight bevel gears manufactured by generation which is 5.6 upon 5.6 plus under root v the second formula that you are seeing formulas are available in 19.4 of bhandari design data book 10 step is to calculate the effective load cscv up into pt or k kmft upon kv 11 step is to calculate module if the gear is weaker in bending then bending strength is fs into f effective and if it is wear, uh, gear is weaker in wear then wear strength is fs into f effective these are the dimensions that you should find out your pitch cone distance face width pitch circle diameter for gear pinion addendum dead addendum module 13 step you have to calculate the maximum tangential load which is your service factor into load distribution factor into 14 step you have to calculate error first you have to calculate the tolerance factor which is m plus 0 0.25 under root of pitch circle diameter then you have to see which grade is given suppose grade 7 is given then see in the table in front of grade 7 the value of e in microns is 11 plus 0 0.90 into tolerance factor so whatever tolerance factor you had found out you have to put over here this you have to do it for EP and EG that is error for pinion and error for gear then you should add both the values and find out the total error so you can see on the top E is EP plus EG remember the values will be found out in microns you have to convert it into mm so whatever values you found out you have to multiply into 10 raised to minus 3 so you will get the answer into mm these formulas are page number 17.15 and 17.16 of Bhandari design data book Deformation factor you should find out the value as per k into e upon 1 plus ep plus 1 upon eg if the ep and eg values are given but suppose in the numerical ep and eg values are not given then see uh, it is given c is 11500 e or c is 8900 e or c is 10000 e based on the material whether it is steel pinion steel gear cast iron pinion cast iron gear carefully note down the uh, material and then you should select the formula for deformation factor capital C remember E is your error which you have found out previously 15 step you have to calculate your dynamic load first so formula is there FT or PD then you have to calculate the effective load based on the dynamic load 16 step you have to check the factor of safety so if the gear is weaker in bending then beam strength is FOS into F effective if the gear is weaker in wear then wear strength is FOS into F effective so first step you have to calculate number of teeth on gear next step you have to assume face width then calculate bending strength then calculate Lewis form factor decide pinion is weaker or gear calculate beam strength calculate wear strength calculate tangential load select service factor load concentration factor velocity barth factor calculate effective load based on preliminary estimation 11 step calculate module 12 step calculate all the dimensions of the gear pair based on module 13 step calculate maximum tangential load 14 step calculate error deformation factor and dynamic load 15 step calculate effective load based on precise estimation of dynamic load 16 step check factor of safety